Okay, before we move on to other stuff, we better address one more issue in this shooting script. So if we come down the bottom here and we do a console.log and let's console log out our number of bullets and also out of interest let's console log out the number of children that we're staging like that let's show our console here and so as we can see those numbers just keep going up and that is not a good idea and the reason for that is we're just adding bullets all the time and we're never getting rid of them so we better address that the first thing we can do is handle our maximum bullets so if we do if this dot bullets dot length is greater than or equal to this dot max bullets then we want to basically We want to take off the oldest bullet that we've got in our array, so that's what shift will do. And then at the same time, we want to remove that same bullet from our stage. Okay, let's see how that works now our stage is still going up but that's because of our zombies and in fact let's just take our zombies out of the equation here uh, let's have a look if we go into spawner and let's just set our max spawns to one and do that again so our stage is not going up now and that's because we're staging our player a zombie and three bullets so that five makes sense so it's a good always a good idea to keep an eye on these things because they can get out of control and uh, suddenly you know when you're sort of half an hour into the game or something it will crash because you're just not clearing things up okay so that is clearing up the bullets if we try and allocate more than our max bullets but the reality is once we fire our bullet and it goes off the screen then we should be getting rid of it then as well really and so let's write some code to do that as well and you might find that you don't really need max bullets uh, I mean that's handy to have in I think if say you create a machine gun or something um, to stop that going a bit crazy but it may be unnecessary but it, it's good um, to have more code examples than, than less I think in this particular case uh, so let's do removing the bullets if they go off the screen so this is a little bit tricky and I'll explain why in a second but we'll do the ob obvious which is what we can do 
is use filter and of course filter is great at reducing the size of an array depending on some criteria and this is the criteria I'm going to put in here so we're going to go for each bullet and we're going to say if the absolute value and that means the positive value of Rx is less than this dot at dot screen dot width and math.absolute b dot position dot y is less than this dot at dot screen dot height then we're good we want to keep it um, there you go it's a bit clearer like that so only bullets that are on the screen will survive this filter and any bullets that are off the screen will get filtered out and so they won't appear back in this dot bullets Now, that's all well and good, but that's not handling our stage. I mean, actually, let's, let's just have a look and see what happens. So, if we do a refresh. As you see, our stage is still is still going up um, but our bullets are remaining our bullet array is re remaining small which is exactly what we would expect here we're handling our bullets array but we're not handling removing those bullets from the uh, stage and so we've got a whole load of bullets here that are off the screen but they're still staged um, and that's pretty that's pretty useless so uh, there's probably cleverer ways of doing this but this is the way that I ended up doing it just because I think this is somewhat easy to understand is I'm just gonna go through every single bullet and just remove it from the stage like that so I'm going to use a good old for each go for every single bullet and for each bullet this is a bullet I'm going to remove that bullet from the um, stage area um, of course then I can't just keep it like that because we refresh and see that if we keep clicking that they'll, they'll just disappear um, so what we need to do is do the exact kind of reverse of this once we've filtered out the ones we don't want so we can do that do a refresh and there you go they're visible while they're on the screen and we will be culling them as they go off the screen and as you can see these numbers are now staying nice and low 
both of them are, uh, which is uh, which is great. Uh, 